School is out. Kids are having fun, and summer brain drain kicks in. Students can lose as much as three months of math and reading skills over the summer. But we have Matt Murray here, who is with College Nanny Sitters and Tutors. He's going to help us avoid that. So when our kids go back to school, they're not starting, you know, backwards. That's yeah. That's what we hope. Absolutely. All right. So this happens just because kids are playing and having fun, and yeah, you know, 75% of kids don't go to summer school now. Yeah. So it's very easy for them to lose a lot of the progress they've made throughout the school year. Uh -huh. you know, two to three months, studies have shown they can fall back. Oh, that's disappointing. But you have some ideas to help us help them stay connected and engaged and keep their reading and math skills alive. Right. Okay, what's this? So these are some examples from some of our college sitters. Okay. Um, and these are for the younger kids. But um, this is just a simple one where you take salt and... You know, I use Fruit Loops and uh -huh. uh, just kind of make them do numbers. I want them to see this uh, is a four and a one. <laughs> so forty-one, perfect. They can do numbers. They can do letters. They don't. They don't realize that they're probably learning. It's about getting them to just try things mm -hmm. and getting them to do some numbers and okay. letters. That's kind of fun. I can see they would like that. And this, this one is this still salt. Yeah, we we do, but this can be sugar. This okay. can be flour. We okay. all do cooking. Uh huh. Great exercise to get them to put a half a cup of sugar into here, a half a cup of butter. Okay. It gets them into the measuring. And once again, what we're really trying to do is get the dialogue going. Uh huh. Say, so you know, I need a half this, a cup yeah. of sugar into this container. As you get with the older kids, we can start talking about right. volumes and different things like that. Mm -hmm. Once again, we're cooking, but at the same time, it's a great learning exercise for the younger kids. So if you said half a cup, I put a fourth of a cup, so then I'm going to need two for a half a cup. So yeah, and the, and the little cup. kids, yeah, might not understand that. Well, okay. if, it, if you say half a cup, how many do I need? And then you kind of mm -hmm. talk through that. So it's mm -hmm. a great exercise okay. that they don't realize they're learning. Okay, that's fun. This and one over here is this? kind of for science. Mm -hmm. um, so you take water, you can use shaving cream. I've got marshmallows here. Mm -hmm. um, this one is about putting some food color in, you know, getting it to look like rain. And so we can start talking about the rain, oh. um, clouds. You can even get into some lightning, humidity. We could all use some rain right now. Um, but this yeah. gets the dialogue going for the younger kids. Oh, that's exciting. I mean, and does it work? Do you see that this actually re-engages the children in learning? It really does, because what it does, it gets them asking questions. And that's what we're trying to do is you want to have fun over the summer, mm -hmm. but we want them to be engaged and trying to ask and learn. So would you imagine that we do this maybe 15 minutes a day or, or read with them 15 minutes a day? Or what else can we do? Thru throughout the day. Okay. And we throughout do it throughout the day. The day. Oh. You can do some in the morning, some yeah. in the afternoon. And then the older kids is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, I have a 12 and a 15 year old. Yeah. She loves Snapchat, Musical.ly, so it's trying to get her in, engaged in a different way. Um, I like to set up a reward system. You want the Wi Fi password for the day, I need you to read for an hour. Ooh. And so she reads a book and she does some of those things. So that's a great exercise. Yeah. They make books um, age specific uh -huh. um, that you can get them to work on f four or five pages a, uh, an, an afternoon. Just little things like that make a huge difference when it comes time to start school. Yeah, then they're a little more subtle in the classroom and ready to go. Yeah. All right, some great ideas. Thanks great. so much for yeah, coming thank you. and for sharing. Yeah, thank you.